Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to sync your Cyber Commander with your Paul Seabuff Einstein. And what you're going to find out, it's actually not really hard to do. Okay, so um, we're going to try and get our uh, Cyber Commander, which is this guy here. We're going to get this Cyber Commander and we're going to sync it with our Paul Seabuff Einstein. Now, as I mentioned earlier, you should read your manual, but the reason why you're watching this is to avoid the manual altogether. So let's get started. First thing you're gonna do is make sure your Cyber Commander has its batteries put in correctly so that it turns on. If you're not seeing it turn on, check your batteries, make sure it works. The next thing you're gonna do is, first off, we, need to, we have to understand how this Cyber Commander works. There's two joysticks here. They all go left, up, down, right. Same thing with the right hand side. Furthermore, if you push inwards into it, you also um, can do a test fire with this one and you can do a flash meter with this one when you fire it. But those options, that, actual gives, that actually gives you another option to press enter into some certain commands. So I'm gonna press the left mouse, left mouse button, the left button here and turn this on. And what you're gonna see is something that looks like this. Now if you don't see this, don't worry, it's not a big deal. Um, but I'll show you something right now. If you press this left, this joystick left or right, you'll change the options, okay? Right, and it'll change to like group ones, channel one, and all. You want to make sure that it says channel one on yours when you when you move around in the option. Okay, so that's step one. The next thing you want to do is make sure your policy buff Einstein is turned on, and make sure that you have the transceiver module installed. On the top of the camera correctly. If you don't, you won't see channel 1 or frequency 1 options show up right here. So what you want to do is make sure this is channel 1, frequency 1. If you press the function button here, you can navigate towards your channel 1 option, which is here, and adjust it with the adjust button up or down. Keep it at 1. You can also adjust the frequency to a different setting, in this case, keep it at one, which is our default setting. Now you might be wondering what they're for. The different channels is for you to control different lights for different power outputs. So if you had two Einsteins, I would set one on channel one and I would set another one at channel two. The frequency is meant for you not to um, mix signals with other cyber commanders. So if there are two photographers in a studio using two different cyber commanders, Photographer A will be on frequency 01, photographer B will be on frequency 02. This will make sure that the other photographer does not trigger your lights. All right, so we got that squared away. Once it's on, it's got all the settings there. Um, we'll press the left button on this one, press inward. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the right button and scroll right by pressing to the right using this joystick here. Once you're there, you're gonna see some options at this gray, these gray windows. You're gonna to wanna to navigate to open memory and to navigate, you press up or down, you push up or down on this joystick and then press in to the open memory option. Now right here, what you're gonna see is a bunch of different options and I don't know where you're gonna land in the default, but to change your channel or groups, you move left and right on this little joystick. And what you'll see is studio channel, and then I'll say micro SD card. We want to ignore all of that stuff. So you can also hold the joystick and it'll move through the options a lot faster. And as you can see, the SD options changing. And the reason why I'm going through this is that it can be confusing. So just keep navigating and navigating until you see studio lights. So to be more specific, you want to make sure you sync the cyber commander from studio lights, um, but specifically from studio channel 01. Now ignore the fact that I have this little blue bar there. That won't be on yours if you haven't done this. Once you've set that, push down on the right button and it's gonna say, it says something about opening something and then you'll see the option that says finished opening. Once you see that happen, your flash is now communicating with your cyber commander. Now I'm gonna navigate back to the opening by pressing right towards the right on the right stick and making sure that I'm on channel one because that's what I synced it to. My Einstein was set to channel one, my Cyber Commander set to channel one, and now if I press up or down on this guy, on the Cyber Commander, you'll also see the values change on the um, Policy Buff Einstein. 
Now with these two sticks here on the left hand side, if you hold it down, you can fire a test flash. If you hold this right hand side down, you can actually do a light meter reading. So the right one's for light meter reading and this one on the left is for, um, uh, for a test flash. So that's it, the Cyber Commander's all set to go. You can, you can take your camera, you can mount this guy on here, okay? You can put it downwards like this if it's easier for you to see or move it up. And when you fire, right, when you fire the camera, the lights will go off now. So you're all set and good to go. And when you're ready to change power outputs, you just go, you can hold this downwards, you can hold it up, you can click up or down and adjust your values and your settings. Now, if you wanna find out how to adjust some of these variables here, you can go back into your menu and you know change your flash meter options and what have you. But that's for a different video and more than likely read your manual but I do hope that this video got you going and got you started on how to sync your Cyber Commander and your Einstein together. Well, there you go. That's how you sync your Cyber Commander with your Policy Buff Einstein. Now, if you got lost in steps, make sure you refer to your video manual or your user manual because that's where all the information is going to be at and how to specifically customize it. This video was all about getting you out the door, ready to go, ready to shoot with your Cyber Commander and your Policy Buff Einstein. Now, if you like this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for our next episode. I'll see you guys later. Bye.